Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Windows Defender. Your memory integration page is not available or the option to toggle it on or off is grayed out. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. First of all, right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. In device manager, you need to expand each and every hardware present over here. And you need to find any yellow triangle present or not. Next to a driver, right over here, a yellow triangle will be available. If it is present, you need to update that particular driver to fix out the issue with memory integrity page not available. Now, if everything is fine, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here, reg edit and hit the enter key. Now in reg edit, I will share you a path that you need to paste right over here. Over here, simply paste the path and hit the enter key. Once paste it, scroll down and you will find the option of scenario over here. Right over here, you need to find a folder with the name Hypervision Enforced Code Security. If it is not available, you need to right click on the scenario and choose the option new and choose the option key. And give it a name as it is like it is written over here. Hypervision Enforced Code Security. It is already available. So I do not require to create a new key. Now click on the option Hypervision Enforce. Now in this right pane, now double click to open the enable file. And value data, if it is 0, make it 1. And if it is 1, make it 0. Then hit the OK button. I mean you need to switch the values 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. For those who have newly created a Hypervision Enforce Code Security file, you need to right click on this pane and choose the option new dvr 32 bit value and give it a name as it is enabled. The registry is already available that's why it is not letting me to create a new one. So you need to create this way a new registry and then double click hexadecimal and then give it a value 0. Now close it. Now don't forget to restart your PC. After restarting, try to check if memory integrity option is still grayed out or not. If issue is still there, head over to your browser and again I will provide you a link. Simply paste that link and hit the enter key. This will provide you a download link. Download it into your system. Once it is downloaded, you need to run the file as an administrator. Right click and choose the option run as administrator. Now after opening the file, here you will find the option of driver tab. Click on it. And here all the faulty drivers will be shown right in front of you with a yellow highlighted line. Like at my end, these are the three drivers that are causing me the issue. So you need to uncheck each driver. After unchecking, you need to close it and restart your PC and try to check if the issue is still persist or not. Else, again right click, run as administrator. Driver tab, you need to right click on the unchecked file and click on the option delete. Delete every file which is giving you the error. This way, restart your PC and this will fix out the issue of memory integrity, page not available or the option is grayed out. If all this method fails, in next method, you need to enable the virtualization first entering into your BIOS menu and then from the settings menu. Depending upon the type of PC you have, I share you the BIOS key so that you can enter into the BIOS and you will find a option of either virtualization technology or SVM mode. Both one and the same thing. You need to enable them by entering into the BIOS key. After enabling, head over to settings menu, choose apps and click on the optional features. Scroll down and click on more windows features. From here, you need to check mark the option Hyper-V, then scroll to the last and you will find two options, Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Hyper Platform. After doing this, hit the OK button. It will start to install all the required files and once it is done, it will ask you to restart your PC. Like it is saying, you must reboot your system. After restarting, your issue regarding the memory integrity page not available or it is grayed out will be completely fixed out. So this is all about it friends. This is how you will fix the, the issue with memory integrity.
If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.